sorry, not just an inconvenience, but I'm sorry for the reason we've delayed, I've delayed coming out to speak to you. I initially was going to talk about the economy. All of you, I've been watching. The scenes of chaos at the Capitol do not reflect a true America, do not represent our. What we're seeing are a small number of extremists dedicated to lawlessness. This is not dissent. Chaos. It borders on sedition. And it must end now. I call on this mob to pull back and allow the work of democracy to go forward. You've heard me say before in different contexts, the words of a president matter, no matter how good or bad that president is. At their best, the words of a president can inspire. At their worst, they can incite. And therefore, I call on President Trump to go on national television now to fulfill his oath and defend the Constitution and demand an end to this siege, to storm the Capitol, to smash windows, to occupy offices, the floor of the United States Senate rummaging through desks, on the Capitol, on the House of Representatives, threatening the safety of duly elected officials. It's not protest, it's insurrection. The world's watching. Like so many other Americans, I am genuinely shocked and saddened that our nation, so long the beacon of light and hope for democracy, has come to such a dark moment. Through war and strife, America has endured much. And we will endure here, and we will prevail again, and we'll prevail now. The work of the moment and the work of the next four years must be the restoration of democracy, of decency, honor, respect, the rule of law, just plain, simple decency, the renewal of the politics, it's about solving problems, looking out for one another, not stoking the flames of hate and chaos. As I said, America is about honor, decency, respect, tolerance. That's who we are. That's who we've always been. The certification of electric college, the Electoral College vote is supposed to be a sexual, which we affirm purpose is to affirm the majesty of American democracy. A reminder, a painful one, that democracy is fragile, and to preserve it requires people of goodwill, leaders who have the courage to stand up, who are devoted not to the pursuit of power, or the personal interest pursuits of their own selfish interest at any cost, but of the common good. 
Think what our children watching television is thinking. Think what the rest of the world is looking at. For nearly two and a half centuries, we, the people, in search of a more perfect union, have kept our eyes on that common good. America is so much better than what we've seen today. Watch other speeches in the past. It was reminded of the words of Abraham Lincoln in his annual message, whose work has today been interrupted by chaos. Here's what Lincoln said. He said, we shall nobly save or merely lose the last best hope on earth. Went on to say, the way is plain, peaceful, generous, just. A way which, if followed, the world will forever applaud and God must forever bless. commitment as patriots to this nation. Notwithstanding what I saw today and we're seeing today, I remain optimistic about the incredible opportunities. There has never been anything we can't do when we do it together. And this God all of display today is bringing home to every Republican and Democrat and independent in the nation. We must step up. This is the United States of America. There's never, ever, 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 ever been a thing we've tried to do that we've done it together. We've not been able to do it. So, President Trump, step up. May God bless America. May God protect our troops. trying to preserve order. Thank you, and I'm sorry to have kept you waiting. Are you concerned about your inauguration, sir? Sir, have you spoken to McConnell today? Are you concerned about your inauguration, sir? Are you concerned about violence? I am not concerned about my safety, security, or the inauguration. I am not concerned. The American people are going to stand up and stand up now. Enough is enough is enough.